Welcome to Chris Gagnon DIY. Today I'm going to show you how I made this concrete or cement yard art mushroom with LED lights. This is a very simple project. All you need is a few bowls from the dollar store, some glass beads to put on for decoration, and some cement and a styrofoam cup. I use the Sand Topping Mix Quickrete brand. Um, there's other brands and you can probably use others. But um, that's what I chose. I got my dollar store bowls and filled one, the biggest one, all the way up to the top. And then added about a cup of water. And I started mixing it. After I got it mixed to a peanut buttery consistency. And I just spread it a little bit to kind of get out some of the air. And you can probably mix it a little bit wetter, but um, my experience was that it started cracking afterwards if I mix it any wetter. So now I'm just going to place the bowl that I had that's the next size down or up, maybe down, and uh, push it down in there and try to get as much of the air out as I can. When you press on it, it'll push some of the air up to the top. And next, I'm just going to place a board on top and some weight. And it's dried at this point. So now I'm just going to be trying to remove the plastic bowl. And if you use some, um, maybe some oil or wax, you could get it out a lot easier than I did. I was just being lazy and I knew I was going to throw these bowls away. But if you wanted to make multiple, you probably want to put some kind of oil or wax on the bowls before you begin to put your concrete in there. It did pop out pretty easily after I put a little bit of the heat on it from the heat gun. So it's up to you if you want to reuse your bowls. Put a little bit of wax or some cooking oil or something on them and that way your concrete will slip out easier. Just a little tapping and that will make the bowl release. And it's actually very smooth. So now I'm going to lay out some holes for where the holes are going to be. Uh, my LED light set had about 20 LEDs, and so I'm going to put about 20 strategic holes here. I'm using the hammer drill on my drill with a um, concrete or masonry bit. And I bet if you have a regular drill and a regular bit, you might ruin the tip of your bit, but you could probably get the holes in there if you took your time. I've done it before. Concrete's not really that hard. These are the glass beads that I got from the dollar store. Um, they're in the little craft section. It's a little bag, cost a dollar, I think. And I'm just going to put hot glue in a circle and place them all down over the top of each hole, just making them center over the hole. And these are the larger diameter ones. I got two different sizes, and you'll see here in a minute where I put them on. But Basically, this is just going to hold them in place while I put the second layer of concrete on. Now just fill in all the gaps as much as you want to or can with the smaller ones. And that way uh, it'll give it a little more decorative effect. So here's the finished part. And Maybe I won't go down as low on the bottom the next time. So now I just mixed up another batch of concrete and I'm just going to smear it all over the top just to fill in the gaps and make sure that the glass is bonded in behind the concrete a little bit. I let it dry for a few minutes and the right way to do this is with a wet sponge but I just didn't have one. So here I am. I'm Wiping off the excess concrete with a wet cloth, a uh, paper towel basically. But you could choose to use a sponge and it would go a lot easier. And uh, now I've got a styrofoam cup and a piece of scrap PEX. You could use PVC if you wanted to. Um, or you don't even need to if you don't want to put this in there. I just put this in there so that 
I would have room for the wire to go down. So now it's dry and I'm going to just cut the cup off. That made it simple. And uh, let it dry some more. Next I'm going to put some paint on here. And I just chose some white paint for the base. Now I'm just going to paint over everything. Once I paint everything, we'll let it dry for a little while. And now I'm going to get some lacquer thinner and a, just a cloth and go over all the glass beads. And that'll take all the paint off and it actually looks really nice and smooth. Um, you can get a sponge with a little scouring pad on it and it'll come off a little quicker because the sponge holds the lacquer thinner. While the little rough side of it kind of scrubs it off. And uh, it looks uh, pretty nice after you get finished. The lights I ordered had these little plastic balls on them. And I had to cut them all off. But uh, hopefully you can find some that don't. I'll try to find some and put a link in the description. But once I cut all the balls off I just threaded all the lights through the base. And then put them all inside each hole. I'll put a link in the description to uh, some lights that have more than 20. I was afraid that 20 would be, or 30 would be too many, but now I think I wish I would have had 30 um, lights. So I'll put a link in the description to those, and they're actually cheaper. And so get the ones with 30. Like I said, I'll put a link in the description. The nice part about these is they're solar powered, so you don't have to fool with the, you know, plugging them in or running any wires. And like I said, I wish there were 30 or 40 in there, but it looks pretty nice. Another thing you could do is if you had a jar, you could use a jar instead and then put some lights down in the bottom as the base. And then it would light up. So it would be really cool to have the base light up as well. If you like this project, be sure to hit the like button. Leave some comments below to tell me what you think about it or if you have better ideas or ways to do things for others. Be sure to put that in the comments. Also, share this project with all your friends on your different social medias. And uh, that way they can have uh, the opportunity to comment and enjoy the content too. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. And, of course, hit the bell so you'll get notifications every time I post a new video. You can also follow me on all other social media. I have a Pinterest. Instagram and Facebook account. I also have a Patreon account. Well, if you see the uh, icon here in the middle, that will be for um, a subscription. And also, you can click on these other videos shown here on the screen.